A former Nebraska women's basketball player says she was groomed into a sexual relationship by an assistant coach and then punished for it by getting booted off the team. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. The allegations are laid out in a federal lawsuit filed by Ashley Scoggin. She played for the Huskers from 2020 to 2022. Now, Scoggin's lawsuit names Chuck Love Jr., who resigned as associate head coach in May of 22, head coach Amy Williams, athletic director Trev Alberts, and the Nebraska Board of Regents. Our team coverage kicks off with KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki, who's speaking with Scoggin's attorney tonight. In 2022, Ashley Scoggin was Nebraska's leading three-point scorer, a scholar-athlete and on the Tom Osborne citizenship team. But it was the secret she claimed she was forced to keep that made it all come crashing down. The case is about the abuse of power by a coach who was a professional over a student athlete who is not. Scoggin's attorney, Marin Chalupka, filed the civil rights case in federal district court Sunday. In it, Scoggin claims assistant coach Chuck Love Jr. groomed her during an internship where she worked in his office. The suit alleges the two would talk about her goals, a long distance relationship, and what kind of alcohol she liked, eventually leading to a sexual relationship, some of which occurred on campus facilities. But Scoggin alleges when she was pressured to participate in group sex with an undisclosed second man, she said no. And after that, she felt she began to receive less playing time. The suit says she was fearful to tell anyone because Love had been with coach Amy Williams for 10 years and was a close friend of Williams's husband. For the student athlete who is, who is pulled into a relationship like this, where there's this extreme imbalance of power, it causes confusion, it causes them to feel trapped, it causes them to have to carry a secret that should not be theirs to carry. According to the lawsuit, Scoggin said some of her teammates became suspicious and carried out a ruse to confirm and record video of her in Love's hotel room during a road game. Scoggin says when Williams found out, she took no measures to protect her and alleges a day before a game held a team meeting which lasted multiple hours where Williams encouraged teammates to interrogate both Scoggin and Love. Both denied anything improper at the meeting. The suit says Williams cast doubt on Scoggin as a seducer and a liar and allowed the team team to decide how to handle the situation. Scoggin was kicked off the team, Love was suspended with pay, and after the season resigned his position. There has not been accountability for a very serious harm. What we have set forth in the complaint here um, is a story of a very serious harm and a very serious betrayal on multiple levels. The lawsuit blames athletic director Trev Alberts for not ordering a Title IX investigation or providing training or communicating the ethical boundaries of player-coach relationships to either staff or athletes. Responsibility is to make sure that coaches are not preying on athletes and that athletes know how what their options are and how to respond and how to report and that their confidentiality will be protected if this happens. Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7. The lawsuit seeks punitive damages as well as compensation for physical and mental suffering and the loss of her spot on the basketball team. It does not specify an amount. KETV Investigates did reach out to all parties involved for a comment. In a statement, the university says it was made aware of the lawsuit this morning. Quote, while the university does not comment on the specifics of pending litigation, it does not agree with the allegation contained in the complaint and intends to vigorously defend this matter.